All right, so we're gonna make AI choose what I do in Rise of Nations. All right, so here we have ChatGPT here, and I do have quite a bit of prompts that I can tell ChatGPT. And basically, what I'm gonna be asking ChatGPT to do is to pick which country I should play, pick uh, what ideology, pick what doctrine, pick if I should use navy or not, if I should use air or not, all that stuff. So basically, ChatGPT will actually just like basically tell me if my game is gonna be fun or if I will suffer. So first I'm going to be asking it to pick a continent between Europe, Africa, and Asia. The reason I did not include North America or South America is because it's incredibly fucking boring to play there, okay? I'm just going to be real. Europe, I think I like it more than uh, Africa or Asia, but yeah, obviously we're not going to complain here. Eastern Europe? So now it has to pick a country in Eastern Europe. So as long as it doesn't pick Russia, I'm fine because playing Russia might be a little bit boring. I want a bit of a challenge here. Hungary. I mean, <laughs> we take those? Okay. So basically, I'm telling it to pick between communism, fascism, and democracy. And I'm basically explaining what all these ideologies do. Uh, let's hope for fascism, maybe. Fascism! Yes! Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna tell it to pick a doctrine between static lines, mass attack, specialization, and maneuver warfare. And I basically explained what each and every single one of them do, kind of. Like, let's see. Specialization. Okay, it's gonna allow me to use aircraft. May not be. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm gonna take it as I'm not allowed to use Navy, which is actually kind of a problem because I cannot just go on to Crusades in North America. To be honest with you, it could have been a lot worse. I could have been given uh, Malawi for all I know. So I think I'm happy with this. So the AI has chosen. We're gonna be playing some Hungry, man. Now, obviously, we go adaptability, specialization, and I think mountain specialization would probably the, be the most useful one for me. Okay, so we've got our electronics up. Let's just start selling immediately. Okay, let's just declare on Austria real quick. I'm gonna bump my resource spending, government spending to max immediately. Now, I'm gonna have a lot of problems with uh, manpower for almost the, the rest of the game. So I'm gonna definitely have to make recruitment centers and uh, develop my country a little bit here and there so I can at least keep my country alive with manpower. All right, now we can go limited and we're gonna continue down research. Limited should definitely Help us a lot in figuring out the map power situation for now so in order to form austro-hungarian i'm gonna need like this little bit in italy yeah i'm gonna have to kill italy eventually okay, so both montenegro and poland want to ally with me so they don't want to have any problems with me basically and now we have advanced training you know my troops are gonna be good especially for combat it's just the lack of manpower is really just gonna kill me for the longest time what can you do oh poland just fight on us okay that's interesting i'll just bump that up to max obviously that second i decide to go and develop Oh, Serbia joined in the war as well? What? I'm not gonna lie, my military is actually kind of strong. Okay, his tanks died. Okay, my troops are so much better than whatever they have. Let me check my military. Yeah, my military is looking good. Budapest is done developing, which, you know, kind of a mistake, but I didn't expect him to attack this early. If I'm gonna go for, like, this big stack of cities over here, Katowice and all that stuff. Uh, this Poland... Oh, he just left the game. That's interesting, I didn't do all that much. Uh, Serbia is still a player. He's gonna come in and fight my troops there, but his tanks just die easily. Here's the issue, which is the absurd lack of manpower. I'm gonna go for Serbia's troops over there. I'm not letting him like take any, ma any of my factories or anything. Oh, Serbia also just left. That's pretty good for me, actually. All right, I won my first war. Not gonna lie, I did not think I was gonna win my war like this, but we're not gonna complain at all. Or is Poland a player again? Poland is a player again, and it's, and it's the Serbia guy. Okay, this is interesting now. So I'm playing against the Serbia guy that tried to kill me and lost eventually. Okay, he's making more and more tanks. He's just made artillery. I'm just gonna take that artillery out. He's made more. Let's just go for his artillery. I'm not gonna play around here. My tanks should be better than his tanks, though, at least. Okay, we can go down nationalism now. I'm just gonna fight those tanks head on. Why not? Okay, my tanks absolutely obliterate us. Yep, he's just gonna send his troops here, and they're all just gonna die. Like, I'm barely even taking casualties. Like, my troops are so much better than his. He's sending... 
a lot of stuff. I think I can make artillery here. Now he's gonna fight that stack. Oh, severe winter. Maybe they should have better entrenchment, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. My god. And he left. Let's peace out Serbia. We got some of their money, at least. And now I think I can develop Hungary in peace once again. Now, currently I'm developing just to get more manpower coming in because I desperately need that right now. Okay, so now that Poland is dead, we can sort of look to go maybe up north over here, expand there, because that's completely untouched. Germany is still at war with Iberian. Europe is still really messed up. The UK is uh, growing in power. Oh, Russia is saying leave Lithuania. I'm just gonna take what I need. Dude, my manpower increase is so bad, man. I'm just gonna have to keep developing Hungary until I actually get good manpower for my own stuff. Now, obviously, I'm just gonna have to allow Russia to form because my, my, my low manpower just does not help at all. And I would love to actually fight Italy if I had something. So he's gonna take over all the stuff that I need. So eventually the UK will probably be my biggest enemy unless he cedes what I want, which, you know, then we'll be fine. There we go, Romania has been taken, and then we can just form Austro-Hungarian. I just want to take over as much as I can from Turkey while Iran is doing all that stuff. Oh, Egypt is also trying it. Alright, I think my next target should be Germany, right? Now, obviously, they have a lot of allies, including Russia, Iran, which I'm not necessarily happy to face currently. Yeah, let's just prepare i think i want to take over both at the same time i think i can definitely do that and obviously russia still has not formed yet so they don't have that insane re resistance buff yeah so ideally i want to infantry spam but with infantry spamming i need a lot more manpower than just 350,000. so maybe going for tanks right now is the right decision and we just have a big stack of infantry that can do the combat and now he has 4.4 thousand tanks queued up and he sent them all the way there. Oh, he's sending them back. Actually, he's made a line. I'm just gonna attack those tanks one by one. So I took out some of his tanks. I don't know. Oh, I just eliminated all of his tanks. The Russia wants to white piece. I'm not going to do that. F4 thousand tanks. He's actually trying to move into... Okay, he wants to white piece and then he sends some guys over here to Germany probably for just good measure or something I don't know I'm just gonna attack those tanks though if I can get to them probably go for winter soldier he's sending in a lot I can probably take those tanks on I have max military spending yes I've absolutely melted his tanks down completely okay 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 and there we go my troops are just so much better than his and it's not even close right now. So he's trying to take back Berlin. That's just not gonna happen at all. We're getting that on the line. Oh, I'm in debt. What? I didn't even notice. We're gonna get tax collection one. I still need to... I need to make my money back. I got a lot of tanks here that I'm gonna send into Russia. It's... Okay, we're coming out of winter. Let's just go into Soviet Union. We're gonna send my guys there. He doesn't have a fort. They're not all that well trained. Okay, he's just gonna split those guys up. It's a lot of troops, man. It is a lot of troops. But my troops should actually just annihilate his. He's going for a pushback, which is fine, I think. Oh, he's, he's sending some guys here. Okay, 600,000 troops right there. I'm just gonna fight those. Why not? Minimal casualties on my side. He's sending a bomber probably to my capital. We've taken over Moscow. Oh, and he's just sending those guys in. They're all just gonna die anyways. There we go. And he's scorched. Yeah, they've sustained 4 million casualties. Almost all of them being from the Soviet Union. Those guys are just coming in. Oh, and he's still a player. I respect the dedication. Oh, he is slowly just dying. And he's still sending more. He's just farming casualties. <laughs> what? I had 600k inventory? Dude... This guy's just molding for no reason. Dude, he has eight... Yeah, he has a million troops left. Seven million losses. Oh, and they're just going up, by the way. They're just, it's not gonna change. 
And he's officially left the game. There we go. After a lot of casualties, after a lot of molding and coping, he's eventually died. Oh, now he's playing Angevin and he's just dead. There's Angevin as well. He's actually just trying to... He's actually molding that hard. I'm just gonna scorch it. They're all gonna attrition to death anyways. So he's taking back all of his stuff here. I don't know, like, how much cope you may actually need to <laughs> believe that you can actually come back from a situation like this. I'm gonna chase those tanks. He's, he's constantly making tanks. He's trying to go somewhere. He's only at war with me. Yeah, he's just trying to, like, get away. He's trying to get to Greece. I can see that. I'm gonna just send these guys. I want to see what damage they could actually deal. Now, let's select. There we go. There we go. 1.1 thousand tanks. Oh, oh, they just got absolutely disappeared. They just disappeared. The only problem throughout this whole game has been my manpower. Ah, oh, god, bro. Specialized is so good, but at the same time, this is annoying to, to play with. Alright, it's about time I pieced Europe. Okay, man, I still need a form, and I need if, to form, I need to take over Sweden and Norway, and that is... Ugh, dude, dude, just when I think about it, man. Come on, there we go, okay. And we should be able to form, there we go. That is perfect. And now we'll be able to, like, develop everything I have. And it only costs less than a billion. Now, eventually, I do want to go for a last push all the way over here in the United States. I uh, want to maybe take over uh, South Africa. Alright, so I went AFK for a little bit. My old country is tier 8. I got 58 billion to work with. And I got a lot of manpower to work with as well. Now, I do want to go over to the United States. It's got tier rates on everything, but it just doesn't have any research or any ideology, so it's kind of useless. We can also take over South African Union. We could... So, he's also got tier rates. We're actually gonna check. Yeah, most of his stuff is tier eight. We're, we're, we're looking quite strong. I, I would say so. I think I should be number one, yep. If I look at the rankings... And I'm closely followed by him, actually, so... <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> now we've got like 31 million troops, they're all on max readiness, which makes them pretty good. Oh, the US is now an AI. The second I do that, well, I guess we're gonna have to go for a different player. Alright, now for these guys, I'm just gonna tell them, go over here. And then for these guys, it's probably best they go over here. Not gonna lie, I'm just kind of doing this because why not? I have nothing else to do. Why not have a grand war? Yeah, let's just do it. Come on. Why not? It's just fun. Alright. He's got a lot of artillery and everything, so he's he's preparing for the worst. Let's do that. And auto capture. Alright. We are attacking. We have taken a lot of casualties actually. So yeah, we're we're going in here pretty hard. I'm attacking these guys and I'm killing his troops like indefinitely. I think I got a lot of troops that can still that can keep going, but I'm gonna bring back some troops that cannot. Now here's the part where you know it could unfortunately bring about my demise, and that is how war exhaustion is insanely stupid in this game. I'm gonna take over, take a lot of casualties as well. We're gonna try and land because I'm taking more and more casualties by the day. Look how slow they they bring back their troops. It's like 500 per day or something stupidly small like that. I'm just gonna kill that artillery. Now I'm I'm interested to know what his war exhaustion is looking like as well because I think both of ours is absolutely horrible, especially mine have. 20 million casualties although i'm the you know i'm the one on the offensive war so i don't know what else you'd expect oh he has an attacker on my troops there <sighs> dude 8.4 war exhaustion this is absolutely horrid so with all of that my stability is trash the one thing i hate about this is that this war technically isn't allowed to happen that's what i understand the game just doesn't allow for a war like this to to happen because the casualties are so great that it kind of just kills you like the war exhaustion will kill you before I can kill him 
that's basically it. I also need this stuff, which isn't all that important. Okay, that's... <laughs> we have skill shortage now, so my country is basically telling me, hey, your country is going to... I mean, it's kind of dying, your country. I am also minus 12 million in manpower. How is... Oh, even more deserves 15 million. I'm minus 22 million in manpower. <laughs> War exhaustion. This is what war exhaustion does to your country. Not only does it tank your stability completely, it, it just stops you from being able to play the game anymore. Out of 18 million, three are left. Oh, oh, now minus 23 million. Thanks. Holy man, what even is this game? Yeah, just click on this video if you want to watch more.